Hey there, viewers. Did your triglyceride levels show up a bit high in your annual checkup, wondering if you could bring it down naturally? Triglycerides constitute a type of fat found in your body. Your body converts calories it doesn't need into triglycerides, which are then stored in fat cells. Higher levels of triglycerides can lead to heart disease. In today's video, we'll be discussing nine natural ways to lower triglycerides. Can low-carb diets help? What about your sugar and fiber intake? Are tree nuts any better? We will discuss all this and more. Number one, stay within the healthy BMI range. Yes, your body mass index has a direct relationship with your triglycerides. BMI is a way to quantify your body fat based on your height and weight. The higher your BMI, the more fat you have in your body. We already know excess calories get converted to triglycerides and stored in your body's fat cells. So it makes sense to lose weight in order to reduce your triglyceride level. There has been research to figure out the link between triglyceride levels and body weight. One particular study found that when participants lost even 5 to 10% of their body weight, their triglyceride levels decreased by 40 milligrams per deciliter. Of course, everyone wants to maintain their weight loss. However, experts have found that even if you regain some of the lost weight, the effects on triglyceride levels last longer. Another study focused on the participants who gave up on their weight loss plans. It was noted that they did regain lost weight over a period of nine months, but the blood triglyceride levels were still 24 to 26% lower. So set a goal for yourself to lose at least 5% of your body fat and your triglycerides will drop. Number two, reduce your sugar intake. Love your desserts? Sorry, we have bad news. Turns out those chocolate pancakes, yummy ice creams, and frappuccinos need to wait. Either that or you need to switch to healthier versions. Excess sugar consumption in the form of sweets, energy drinks, and packaged fruit juices can impact your blood triglyceride levels negatively. You need to reduce sugar consumption to bring your triglycerides down and avoid cardiovascular disease, obesity, and diabetes. The extra glucose you consume from various food sources gets converted into triglycerides, and your body then stores it in fat cells. One study observed participants for 15 years. People who received more than 25% of their calories from added sugar doubled their chances of cardiovascular disease. So the next time you feel tempted to have a cold, sugary drink with dinner, please don't. Switch to healthy alternatives like green tea. Your body will thank you later. Are you enjoying this list so far? Well, this next point will surely surprise you. But before we continue, why not subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and hit the bell icon so you're always up to date. Number three, low carb diet is your best friend. First, sugar, now carbs? No, we aren't on a mission to take away all your guilty pleasures. Both carbs and sugars seem to be good for your taste buds, but bad for your health. The human body needs triglycerides to function properly. Most of the time it has enough of it, but a high carb intake can up triglyceride scales. These high triglyceride levels further your risks of getting stroke, pancreatitis, or atherosclerosis. To avoid these diseases and lower your levels, we advise you to stick to a low carb diet plan. Many studies have been conducted to link the connection between carbohydrates and blood triglyceride levels. A study observed 178 men and found that those who consumed just 26% calories from carbs had reduced triglyceride levels in their blood as compared to those who consumed 54% of their calories from carbs on a high carb diet. Number four, go fierce with fiber. Say it with me, fiber is your best friend. You can get it from fruits, veggies, legumes, and whole grains. Smoothies are okay too, but if you eat the whole fruit, it'll give you more fiber. Including soluble fiber in your diet decreases the rate of fat absorption in your small intestine, resulting in reduced levels of triglycerides in your blood. For instance, including more rice bran fiber in a diet plan can help diabetic patients decrease triglyceride levels in their blood. Experts have studied the effects of dietary fiber on blood insulin. In one such study, seven adults were given a low fiber diet for one week. This was followed by a high fiber diet the next. It was observed that during the low fiber week, their blood triglyceride levels jumped 45% above the baseline. But during the high fiber week, the levels of these individuals were found to be slightly below the baseline. So start adding some cucumbers, carrots, and broccoli to your meals. Before we move ahead, here's another video you may like. It's the ultimate guide to every vitamin your body needs. Watch and learn how to make your diet plan inclusive of all these necessary nutrients. Number five, reduce your alcohol consumption. I know how it feels. First, you're being told to skip desserts and carbs. Now booze? Oh, the humanity. There have been various studies regarding the effects of alcohol. The majority link drinking with adverse health effects. It's a known fact that if alcohol is consumed in high quantities for prolonged periods, it's very addictive and harmful to the body, not to mention the high calorie value it offers. 
One study recorded that even if you have normal triglyceride levels to begin with, moderate alcohol consumption can increase your triglycerides by up to 53%. Prolonged alcohol consumption can result in high blood pressure, liver problems, increased risk of cancer, and diabetes. Consuming high amounts of alcohol brings metabolic problems as well. This is in addition to the fatty foods you end up consuming with it. Some people also mix artificial fruit juice with their alcohol, which means a sugar overload. All of this increases triglyceride levels. Number six, exercise. Don't they always say, exercise regularly to stay healthy? This means working out regularly, especially aerobics, as it improves HDL cholesterol levels in your blood. HDL, or good cholesterol, helps lower blood triglyceride levels, thereby keeping you away from coronary heart disease. Working out for 30 minutes a day, five days a week can lower your triglyceride levels. Make sure your workout regimen includes aerobic exercises like brisk walking, jogging, and swimming. This will keep you healthy and improve HDL. Along with regular exercise, one needs to develop healthier eating habits. A study showed that jogging regularly for two hours a week, four months straight, reduced the concentration of triglyceride levels in participants. Number seven, fight triglycerides with omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids are polyunsaturated acids which are very important for your body. One of the major sources of omega-3 fatty acids is seafood, mainly oily fish like salmon, sardines, and tuna. Other sources are cod liver oil and krill oil. Plant-based sources of omega-3 fatty acids include kiwi fruit seed oil, flax seeds, and chia seeds. Consumption of omega-3 reduces the risk of heart disease by reducing triglyceride concentration in the blood. Even the American Heart Association recommends eating two servings of fatty fish per week. One study found that eating salmon twice a week had a significantly positive impact on triglycerides. Number eight, unsaturated fats. Replacing trans and saturated fats with unsaturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated fats is much healthier. This will lower your blood triglyceride levels. You can easily get unsaturated fats from avocado, olive oil, peanut butter, and sunflower oil. Try to pick olive oil instead of vegetable oil. Replace saturated fat-heavy items like cheese, butter, and palm oil with unsaturated fat options. A study conducted on 212 men and 240 women showed that their intake of saturated fat over the last 24 hours had increased the blood triglyceride levels. On the other hand, consuming polyunsaturated fat decreased these same levels. Number nine, tree nuts. Prepare to be wowed. Tree nuts provide you with fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, and unsaturated fats, all of which help reduce your triglyceride levels. Experts analyzed 61 studies, reaching the conclusion that serving tree nuts reduces triglycerides by 2.2 milligrams per deciliter. So eat more almonds, walnuts, and pistachios. Do you have high triglyceride levels? Have you even heard of triglycerides before this video? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.